Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, if you're anything like me, before you had your Cricut Explorer, you had another cutting machine. In my case, it was the Silhouette Cameo. Now, when I had the Silhouette Cameo, I was part of their Silhouette store and I had a subscription. So I downloaded a ton of files. And up until now, I wasn't able to use those files in design space. I have found a way to do it, and it's a very simple process, and I'm sure most of you know how to do it, but I wanted to make a quick video just in case you didn't. So this video is going to show you how to take your silhouette file and then import it into Cricut Design Space. I have a Mac, so I will be showing it how to do it on the Mac, but I will also give you tips on how you can do it with Windows. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, we're going to need to open up our Silhouette Studio software first, and then we will take it from there. So as soon as I got my Cricut Explorer, I was trying to find a way to be able to import my Silhouette designs into Design Space. If you bought your designs from the Silhouette online store, those are only a .studio file. They can only be used in your Silhouette Studio software. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take those files and create them into an SVG so you're able to upload them into Design Space. So what you're going to want to do is you need to start in your Silhouette Studio software and you can either have the regular software or the Designer Edition, really doesn't matter. You're going to go into your library. Now as you can see I have 5,366 files that right now I can't use in my Cricut Explorer. If I bought these files from the Silhouette online store it only gave me the Studio file. So, we need to bring one of these into session. Now, you might have some print and cut files, and you'll know they're a print and cut file because they'll have this little P in the lower right hand corner. Um, for this process, I would probably not use those files just because it is really hard and it's kind of clunky, and ultimately, the design space doesn't support print and cut at this time. Um, I think it's coming later on in the year. So what I'm going to show you is using a basic design that I downloaded from the Silhouette online store, which is this Ferris wheel. So I'm going to bring that into session. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and change it to black fill with black lines. Now that we have our um, image that we want, I'm going to go ahead and unclick off of the mat to get rid of the box around the image because we don't want this box. So I'm going to go ahead and click off that. And now we need to take a screenshot of just this area. Now if you're w using a Mac computer, it's really easy. You're just going to go Command Shift 4. If you're using a Windows based computer, you're going to go to your start button or your start menu and you're going to search for the snippet tool and the snippet tool will come up and then it will give you crosshairs of the snippet that you want to screenshot. I have a Mac computer so I'm going to go ahead and hit command shift 4 and that's going to give me this little bullseye that's going to let me um, use the crosshairs to just take a screenshot of the item I want. So while pressing down my mouse button I'm going to go ahead and draw a square around the items I want. So I'm going to go Command Shift 4 and I'm going to go ahead and get it as close as I can and then when I release the button you're going to hear a snapshot of a camera and that took a snapshot of just that snippet and it saved it on my computer so it's right there screenshot. Now what you need to do is you need to open a program called Inkscape. Now, if you don't have Inkscape, that's okay. It is a free program that you can download, and I've given you the link down below in my description. When you have Inkscape open, you're going to want to go ahead and go up to File, Open, make sure you go to your desktop, and go to the screenshot that we just did. You're going to hit the OK button. It's going to open a secondary window, which is fine, and you're going to want to go ahead and maximize that window. Now what I like to do is there's this little magnifying glass with a paper on the inside. Go ahead and click that and that's going to zoom in right on your image. You need to go ahead and select your image and you'll know it's been selected because there will be these arrows around it. And you now want to go up to path, 
and trace bitmap. I go ahead and turn my threshold all the way up to 99 and then I'm going to hit update and you're going to see the image right there. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit OK. It's going to trace that and now we can close out this box and now we can move the image off. And then this is our trace over here so we can get rid of our original image. Move this image back here. And once again, you want to select the image until you see these little arrows turn like so. We're going to go up to Path, and we're going to hit Break Apart. And it's going to change everything black, which is okay, because we have to do one more step before we can import this into Design Space. What you need to do is you need to go ahead and draw a box around each of the items that we broke apart. If you accidentally select an, another item, that's okay. Just hit shift and select the item that you don't want and it will get rid of that part. Then what you need to do is go up to path and combined. And what that's going to do is it's going to combine those pieces together again. So once again, you're going to go around it, get rid of any of the pieces you don't want. So shift, I don't want this little tiny guy here. So there he went away. And then I'm going to go up to path combined. All right. And there my Ferris wheel is again. Now we're going to do each of these little carts by themselves. So draw a box around it and you can either go up to path for each of these and keep hitting combined or you can draw a box around it and hit control K. Now we're going to keep doing this for each one of these little cars because you want these all to be separate items. If you were to do these all together, what that's going to do is it's going to combine them in your SVG file. So if you wanted to cut these or color these different colors or whatever you want to do, you wouldn't be able to. So that's why we want to do each individually by themselves. Now, if you ever get something like this, you think you drew a box around the whole thing, you go up to object or path and you hit combine and nothing happens, that's because you didn't select all the items. So you're going to want to go to edit, undo combine, and do it again and make sure you get everything, the little windows and the entire cart. See right there I didn't have everything so I'm going to hit undo combined and we're going to start over and make sure you get that whole cart in there. Perfect. And you'll know you did because it will draw a box around all of the items. So I'm just going to keep drawing a box around each of these and hitting that control K. And once again, you want to make sure you get the entire item and you'll know you got it because it will draw a box around each of the windows and a box around the whole carriage. And we have one more here. All right, so at this point, we are ready to turn this into an SVG. And all we have to do is go up to File, Save As. It's automatically going to go to an Inkscape SVG. Go ahead and delete where it's highlighted and write your new name. So I'm just going to write Ferris Wheel SVG and hit Save. At this point, we can go ahead and minimize Inkscape. And now we want to go ahead and bring up our Cricut Design Space. You're going to want to go to Upload Image. And this is a vector upload because we just did it as an SVG. Hit Browse. And we are looking for Ferris Wheel SVG, which I misspelled it. That's great. But that's okay. Hit Choose, and there's your Ferris Wheel. Hit Save Image. Go ahead and select the image and hit insert image. And there's our Ferris wheel. So let's go ahead and make it bigger. And now because it's an SVG, you're able to ungroup it. And let's go ahead and change the colors because what's nice about Design Space is it does all the work for you. So this way we're able to separate all of the different ones into... Um, different layers. So let's go ahead and hit blue. This one can be yellow. 
And then let's just keep going down here. Let's change that one to red. And that one will change to green. Blue. Yellow. Let's go ahead and do yellow for the star. And now, once you hit go, it's going to go ahead and separate those all by color since we've colored them. So there is the base of the Ferris wheel. There's a cart, another cart. There's the two green carts. There's the Ferris wheel spool, your other carts, the star and the other carts. And now all you have to do is hit go and cut. And guess what, guys? That's how easy it is to take any Silhouette Studio design, change it into an SVG, and import it into Design Space. I absolutely love finding this little trick. Um, I have so many studio files that I didn't think I was going to be able to access. And just by mistake, I took a screenshot and thought, well, if I can do a screenshot, I can upload it into Inkscape, and then the possibilities are endless. All right, guys, I hope this really helped you um, figure out how you can use all of those Silhouette designs that we downloaded from the Silhouette store into your Cricut Explorer and Design Space. Make sure you're checking out my blog at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you're checking out all of my YouTube videos. And make sure you subscribe, like, share, show the love of Ken's creations to the world. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Go downstairs, download Inkscape, go to your cricket room, your craft room, wherever you do this. Go practice and just make something beautiful. Go create something magical. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.